In this video, we're going to be looking at rotating the region of y equals x squared between 2 and 4 about the x-axis and then calculating the volume of revolution that's formed from doing that. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to remember that this is a formula that's constructed from pi r squared. Okay, now each of your strips, the radius will be dependent on y. So the way you need to remember this is you're going to be integrating pi y squared when you're taking these vertical strips, then with respect to x. Now the other thing way to remember this is that you know that it's going to be dx because you're integrating it between two x values on the x-axis. Okay, so between 2 and 4. And this letter, this variable will always be the other one, okay, opposite to the x. So you can kind of remember it in different ways. Um, but some people kind of get confused as, right, is it pi x squared or is it pi y squared? Okay, so pi y squared dx. Now y is given to us by x squared. So we're going to integrate between 2 and 4 pi times x squared squared dx. Now you could bring the pi out of the integral if you like, it's just a multiplier. You don't have to, you can leave it inside if you like. And the x squared squared is just x to the 4. So now we can integrate that, so it's pi times the integral of x to the 4, which is 1 fifth x to the 5, evaluated between 2 and 4. So we have pi times now we're going to substitute in the 4 first. Okay, so uh, 1 fifth times 4 to the power of 5 is 1024 over 5. And then we're going to substitute in the 2. We get 32 over 5. So 1024 over 5, take away 32 over 5. Uh, is 992 over 5, so 992 pi over 5. And that is the exact volume of the shape produced by rotating y equals x squared around the x-axis between 2 and 4.